some of the most popular light bulbs will no longer be made. It's part of the government's plan to save energy. Local 12's Anjanette Levy joins us now from the newsroom with why the switch isn't going over well with everyone. Anjanette. Well, Curtis, take a look at these two boxes of light bulbs. At first glance, there doesn't appear to be much of a difference. But when you go to the store to buy these, you'll notice that this box of halogen bulbs costs more than this box of these old incandescent bulbs, the bulbs you and I grew up with. And that is not sitting well with some people. Incandescent light bulbs like these could one day be collector's items. The 75 and 100 watt light bulbs are already on the way out. It's now lights out for their more popular cousins, the 60 and 40 watt bulbs. It's part of a 2007 energy efficiency law. One homeowner we met has already made the switch. I think it's a good thing. I know they're more expensive, and I'm glad they came out with the, the newer LED that are more the shape of the incandescent because I hated those curly ones. Those curly compact fluorescents, LED, and halogen bulbs are replacing traditional incandescents. Experts say they throw off the same amount of light, use less energy, and last longer. You'll pay more up front, but experts say they'll save you in the long run. The old fashioned incandescent bulb actually wastes 90% of the energy that it uses. Instead of going to light, it goes to waste heat. And that means there's a lot more power plant pollution, and it also means that we pay more on our utility bills. But not everyone's buying the bulb hype. We met a woman who's been hoarding the old incandescents. We bought the expensive ones, replaced them all because they say, oh, they last for years. No, they didn't last for the same amount of time those did, a few months, and they were burned out. Whether you love them or hate them, the new bulbs are here to stay. Anything you can do to save a little bit of energy, I think, is okay. Now, if you prefer these old incandescent bulbs, there's good news. You can still go to the store and buy them, but when the supplies run out, you're going to be out of luck. Reporting live from the newsroom, Anjanette Levy, Local 12 News. Curtis? And the newsroom looks much better in that light. Anjanette, thank you. <laughs> Australia, Venezuela, Brazil, and Switzerland have already banned incandescent bulbs. Canada will also stop producing them next year.